Well, Senate Democrats are trying to end the federal prohibition of marijuana. It's a move President Joe Biden has previously said that he supports. But if federal decriminalization happens, it doesn't mean recreational pot will suddenly become legal nationwide. We connect the dots. The legislation proposed by Senate Democrats is called the Cannabis Administration and Opportunity Act. It would do a few things if passed. First, it would remove marijuana from the Controlled Substances Act, where it is currently considered a Schedule I drug, along with substances like heroin and LSD. It would also introduce regulations to tax cannabis products. That money, according to a draft of the bill, would be used to invest in programs for communities most affected by current federal drug laws. The act would also wipe out federal convictions for nonviolent marijuana offenders. And people still serving time in federal prison for nonviolent marijuana crimes would get to petition a court for a new sentence. As of now, 37 states and the District of Columbia had legalized medical marijuana. Colorado was the first of 18 states to approve recreational use, the most recent being Connecticut. But even if this federal legislation passes, the decision to legalize marijuana will still fall on individual states. Think of it like alcohol sales, which states still have the right to prohibit. And that's Connecting the Dots.